but qualitative it's really subjective sort of feelings like the other example i gave you if maybe between the two regions the western region and the central region which region has more beautiful babes if you are from western automatically you can't say you do research you manipulate your data you during that process of sampling you might be biased instead of carrying out a random sampling you just become biased and make sure that western has one day beautiful babes if you're from central you do the same and you make sure that but with this one when data is quantitative really it is not it's more it's subjective now let's talk about data analysis and like i told you this is question one paper two biology so this if you are not sober be sober enough if you have something bothering you if your mind is not with you if be sober enough this is where we're going to talk some science and this lesson you always remember it because it is going to help by the way i do this i usually before you never usually facilitate this and this is what i give students it is really good and i promise you before you name they will bring a facilitator to give you this okay so if you have these basic skills trust me life is going to be easy as far as paper 2 is concerned now there are three types of analytic questions that they can give you and the first one is they will give you data like how we saw the, the above table and they tell you to plot a graph and then you analyze the graph that you have gotten in reference to the science that you have whereby you plot a graph get trends get similarities get differences and then you analyze the graph that you have plotted however this is the easiest question you can ever find and the chances of setting it on the scale of a hundred i can give it 20 percent then another type of question is here we brought for you the graph and then we fire you question to test your analytic skills and this is the most common question you can ever find and on a scale of a hundred i can give it 70 percent we shall plot for you a graph and then we, 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 we fire you questions so you need to have the basic skills of analysis and the last one which is not common however it is also possible here they simply give you data and then they simply task you to analyze that data without plotting any graph And we shall see all these kinds of questions. We shall see them. We shall try to analyze. I will, I will try to give you some few skills you can use to successfully answer or attend to these questions. But all in all, the graphs, they are the most common and they are the best way of presenting data in biology whereby they you create a picture of the data that is collected for example if i just give you eh, i just ask you to gandhi find out how many can do maybe you're going to do a quadrant you count for me 
how different grass are scattered within your school's playground. Or maybe, as if, if that one is a bit perplex, I just send you somewhere where there is the topo, there is, it is some hidden, there is valley, and then the middle and up. And I just say, count for me how these plants are distributed. And then I give you the list of plants, maybe eucalyptus, maybe from eucalyptus to coach grass, then to this, to that, to that. I give you like 10 plants. And then you simply do the counting. You just count. You go to the valley, count 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? You go there, you count 1, two, up to when you reach up. Now you simply have figures. The same applies, you simply have figures. Even the same applies to the data that we have just, to the question that we are following. You remember? Let me take you there. You just so you're just seeing figures and it's usually hard to simply interpret figures you are just you just have that now if i give you these figures and say make sense out of them it's hard it becomes a bit confusing a bit perplex to make sense out of such figures so the easiest way of creating sense out of such figures is to represent them on a graph is to represent them on a graph and so these graphs can there are facial sense out of the data that is collected so the graphs they show trend they show patterns and they show the relationships that may actually exist in the data is collected but if you simply stay with your data then it really becomes hard becomes hard for you to create sense out of such data so let's start with case one let's start with case one 